I'm here with Mike looking at the new Dangerous Compressor, which is quite a, a departure for you. It's the first time you've done a compressor, I think. It is the first time we've done a compressor. And, you know, people have been asking us for quite a number of years to make one. And we kept saying, no, no, no. The reason being, we didn't want to just make another compressor. We wanted to do something unique. Okay. And finally, after a few years of, you know, trying out different things, we came up with something really unique. All right. So what's so special? Uh, there's a few things that are really special about it, but the first thing is it has a lot of uh, sidechain controls. Right. So sidechain is something that you'll find commonly on a lot of compressors, but we decided to do it the dangerous way, which is we have an active external sidechain send and return. So right. most compressors just have a sidechain input, yes. which means you have to molt from your patch bay, go into your other piece of gear, send it into the... This has an active send and return, okay. which means there isn't going to be any loading, there isn't going to be any change of impedance, yeah. it's going to be as clean as possible. Okay. So there's that, and then there's also a sidechain monitor. So you can select that and listen to what you're sending so what you to do. the sidechain. Yeah. And you can hear what the detector of the compressor is hearing. So that allows you to monitor the external sidechain mm -hmm. and this sibilance boost and bass cut that we've included. Okay. So the sibilance boost is a high shelf, which has the same bandwidth as the backs, so it's a nice, smooth, high shelf. Right. And if you're listening to the side chain, you can engage the sibilance boost and hear that shelf and hear exactly what the detector is going to hear. Yeah. And then the bass cut is a roll off at 60 hertz, and most commonly you're going to use that so that your kick drum doesn't duck your compressor. Sure. So those they're, are the side chain features. They're both fixed. Features. Fixed equalizers. They are both fixed. Yes. Okay. Right. Um, and then the other, the other really cool thing that uh, Chris Muth added in here is Smart Dynamic. So this is a little bit complicated. Um, Chris can explain it better than anybody, but um, he gave me a little rundown on it, and I'll give you the best approximation I have. You know, he's, he's very technical when he comes up with these things. So basically what it is, is you've got, when you engage the Smart Dynamic, you've got two different things happening in the compressor. You have your regular RMS compression that's happening all, t all the time, yeah. and then you engage the smart dynamic, and you've got a peak limiter happening with an extremely quick attack and an extremely quick release, okay. so that you can raise your RMS level yeah. without raising and, your and peak level, and still control because the, peaks, the yeah. smart dynamic is catching all the really quick peaks okay. and not ducking your whole RMS yeah. every time a kick or a snare comes in. So it allows you to really raise your level without raising your peak. Okay. You can make sure. loud masters. Good explanation. We got that. Okay, good. Well done. <laughs> and then we have a, a, a soft knee button. So uh -huh. just your typical hard knee, soft knee. We also have a manual attack and release control. So you'll see when you hit this button, this little uh, green yes. light comes on. Okay. And lets you know that you're in manual mode. Sure. If you take it off, you're just in automatic attack and release. Okay. Then you have your you know, typical VU meter control, whether you want to hear compression or level. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, whether you want to see compression or level. Yeah. And then you have uh, input output meter, and then a negative six VU. Okay. And then you have your channel link, which lets you link left and right, so that this gain and threshold are controlling both left and right. So these become inactive. Sure. That allows uh, the ratios to still be separate and the attack yes. and release to still be separate, but one gain and threshold for both left and right. Yeah. And the final really cool thing that we decided to do was put separate detectors for left and right. So not only does that mean you can use it as a dual mono compressor, yes. it also means that you're going to get the best stereo image possible with your compressor because a lot of compressors that are stereo will just sum to mono and of have course. one detector yes. controlling both. This has two separate detectors, so any phase cancellation that you would get with that mono combining, yeah. you're not going to have to worry about that. Okay. Excellent. It looks really nice. Uh, what about sound character? Does it have a character, or you decided it to be really clean? It's really clean. It's in dangerous. The, in the dangerous it's way. It's the dangerous okay. character. Yeah. Right. So basically, um, it's built to sort of do its job and get out of your way. Okay. So you're not gonna you're not gonna leave a sonic imprint. It's not gonna sound like a really dirty tube compressor it's yeah. not gonna you know leave behind its its artifacts okay it's gonna do what it needs to do and it's gonna get out the way and you know in some cases we've we've had some beta testers tell us it sounds like I'm just doing manual vocal rides yes. with a with a you know fader and that's sure. pretty much what we were going for but if you want to really smash it 
you can get that pumping effect with the drum bus. Or, yeah, okay. you know, you can you can make it really work for you if you want, but you right. can also make it be totally transparent, totally transparent, move out of the way. Nice. Okay. This is this is not the full production version yet, I don't think. No, it's. Uh, we're looking to get it out around Q1 of 2014. So, so okay, early next year. Late January, early February, most and likely. Do you have an idea on the price for it yet? It's going to be $27.99. Okay, great. Really look forward to playing with that. Great. Thanks a lot, Mike. All right, no problem. Cheers.